Hello, Mrs. Hamilton. I have... I have done the biggest part. Find your way home. How am I supposed to get home? Hello, baby. Yes, I have a, a situation. A cardy situation. Oh, I miss you too. Yes, I'll see you in 20. <laughs> yes, baby. All right. See ya. Find your way home. At least give me transport for now. How will I go? I don't have. Mom! How am I supposed to get home from here? Mom? Mom? Mom! I see you found your way home. What do you think you're going? You're not going to apologize to me, are you? For what? Nothing. Look. After your father and I separated, and he later passed on, I thought this was a passing phase. But this has gone on far too long, and my patience is wearing thin. You need to begin to live responsibly for God's sake. Your father was the vice president of this town. His name still opens doors for people. But you, you you're, you're busy ex exhibiting your youthful exuberance in public, fighting, getting in trouble one way or another. When are you going to grow up? Am I that small? One more silly word from you and I'll slap the madness out of your head. I say amen to that. What do you want from this life? What do you want? What? What? You will not step a foot in that room until you have made a resolution here to change for the better. Kadi, you are a brilliant girl. Well, at least you used to be. You know what? I'll find you another job. I don't need a job. You're an ex-wife to an ex-vice president of this country. We have enough money. <laughs> you think working is about money? It's about you being responsible for once in your life. Look at me. Take a look at me. After your father and I separated, I was and I'm still in business and I'm doing great. I did not depend on his wealth. Even though, as his first family, he left us so much money. You need to learn to be independent, girl. You need to be self-reliant. And I am a living proof of its benefits. Benefits? Benefits? Like the one up there, as we speak. The one that makes your voice just change and soft anyhow whenever he calls. That's benefits. You can carry on like you're a perfect mother who wants what's best for a child, but really are you? Get out of my house. Leave my house now. You will not stand under a roof I pay for an insult. Mom, this is the third time you're asking me to leave and if I do this time, I'm not coming back to- Leave! I don't want you coming back begging me. I want you back with some self-improvement. 
Go. Leave. And see how, 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 how sheltered, how privileged you are. You see the comfort I provide. Leave. I would love to prove you wrong. Please.